Greetings everyone. Kamusta? Pasensya na no, medyo hapon na tayo ngayon. Power nap na <laughs> dapat pero hindi. Still, no? Ang um, um, ano natin today is uh, continue lang tayo sa ating uh, lesson or ating devotion. Uh, kanina kasi, grabe ulan sa labas. Kung makikita niyo no, sobrang ano. You know, grabe, grabe ulan sa labas. Grabe sobrang ano ng window. And um but um it was a A fruitful day. Uh, we opened a lot of stores earlier today, so we shops, uh, natural markets, uh, unbox. So we were there, so maju marami-rami na open today, and marami pang prospects na bubuksan, no? But the the thing is, no, ang ano yon is talaga masadum olan. My my na kaninan na sa BGC kami sobrang um, basang basa ako, kasi um, kumain kami, tapos biglang biglang umulan kailangan na namin mag set up ng store so yun, kaya yung pa ako ngayon yung sapatos ko puno puno ng tubig well anyway um how are you how's your heart okay ba heart mo ngayon are you feeling um happy do you have a happy heart do you have a uh, an exceeding heart puno puno nag-uumapaw na puso or do you have a heart full of answers baka naman puro negative Huwag na natin pag-usapan yung negative because we're not talking about God's word to look at the negative side. There will always be negative side in everything that we do. But it depends on our focus. So what we'll focus on is the positive side. I'm just showing you kung ano ba yung positive and negative side of our hearts. And today we'll continue that series. So we're at letter R. So malapit na. Tomorrow, letter T na tayo. So t- today's letter R. What does letter R stands for? May idea ka ba? Well, anyway, we'll continue our um, devotion today. Um, before we do that, let's pray muna. <clears throat> Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for the weather. I know, Lord, that it's a gloomy weather, maulan, maraming nababasa. And Lord, I pray that uh, even if maulan ngayon, nawapo, Lord God, you protect everyone, Lord, that's driving around, that's um, growing through the rain, Lord, na hindi po sana sila magkasakit, lagnatin, o kung ano pa man po, o matiskrasya. Uh, I pray, Lord, that you give people patience right now, lalo na sa pag-uwi nila sa kanilang mga bahay, dahil po sa traffic na meron sa kalsada. Lord, I pray that you continue to bless us with those trials and um, uh, those um, um, hardships, Lord, that we're going through. Kasi, Lord, these hardships are, are helping us build a character that you want. Lord, help us and mold us the way that you want us to. Lord, as we study your word today, let it be you who will be speaking today. If ever there are any hindrances from our hearts, Lord, uh, search our hearts today, Lord. Create in us a happy heart, a heart that's exceedingly joyful, a heart that is um, that has the answers. And today, Lord, as we study the letter R, let us be able to really understand the words that you want us to learn today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. R. Um, verse today is found in Proverbs, verse 28, chapter, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> chapter 28, verse 13. Okay, so our verse is found in Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. So, uh, let's read it, no? Whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So, what's our word for today? Our word for today is... Is your heart full of repentance or is it full of remorse? Do you have a repentant heart? Puso na mapagsisi? No? Hindi, kakaibang sisi to ha. Ang pagsisisi kasi dalawang bagay yan. When you, you, pag sinabi mo nagsisisi ka, it's either you will do it again in the future or Talagang you forsake it. That's why if you look at the verse in, that we read, no, but the one who confesses, so you can't, you can't say that you are repentant, or if you're really sorry about your sin, or if you really are, uh, kung talagang pinagsisisihan mo to, kung hindi mo siya kayang aminin, kailangan aminin mo muna siya, and then iwanan mo na talaga siya. So I'll tell you about a story in my life about about this repentant heart. There were a lot of times that I really was into girls. No, talagang daming babae. Those who know me, al- alam yan, no? And um, when I tried to go back to God, a conviction came into me na kung talagang sorry ka o kung talagang magbabago ka na o talagang nagsisisi ka sa iyong mga ginawa, 
aminin mo sa asawa mo lahat ng mga nagawa mo kasalanan sa kanya. That was so hard. But, you know what? To prove that I really don't want to do it again, and to prove that I'm really am repentant about those sins that I've done, I told her all those sins. So, tinanong niya ako, yung ganito, yung ga- dati mong kasama sa ganito, may nangyari sa inyo, yung dating ganito, may nangyari sa inyo, inamin ko lahat. Inamin ko lahat. That's because, I really repented from that sin. Pero, sometimes kasi, instead of repentance, we feel remorse. Nagsisisi tayo, galit na galit tayo sa sarili natin. We, 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 we don't want to confess our sins. That's why remorse comes along. Pag sinabing remorse, eto yung parang sising-sisi ka sa nagawa mo, sinisisi mo ang sarili mo. You can't do anything. You can't do things. Oh, we don't have a time machine where you could go back to that time and change it. I was actually, uh, um, naalala ko lang bigla, no? yung pinapanood ng mga asawa ko na z- series nga sa Netflix na The Good the good Doctor. And dito sa series nito, yesterday, yung pinapanood namin was, parang um, may nang hold up, tapos um, parang nagpanik kasi medyo cystic. So may nabarel. And yung kasama ng nabarel, siya ang sinisisi, maraming sinisisi sa kanya. Nagsisisi sa kanya. Tapos sabi nun sa ikayatrist sa kanya, do you, do you parang, Um, nagsisisi ka ba? Sa, do you regret what you've done earlier? Kung sana, um, if you wish that you could do, could, you could change it. Sabi niya ganun. Sabi, ang sagot nito ni, doctor, ni Sean, Dr. Murphy, sagot niya is, no, uh, uh, parang, eh, ano ko na lang, no? kasi I can't do it verbatim, no? kasi ngayon na siya pumasok. Sabi niya, no, kasi wala naman na akong magagawa doon. Doon sa nangyari, nangyari na. So, we can choose to repent or have remorse. If we repent, then we ask for forgiveness. We um, confess those sins. You can't repent if you don't confess it. You need to accept your sin kasi kailangan tanggapin mo muna yung kasalanan mo. Pag hindi mo tanggap yung kasalanan mo, then how can you be repent? How can you repent? How can you forsake it? Tanda mo, dito sa verse natin, when you say, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. Kailangan i-renounce mo siya. When you confess your sin, you need to renounce it, you need to forsake it, you need to leave it, hindi mo na siya pwedeng gawin ulit. Kailangan iwana mo na talaga siya. And based on what's happening in my life, the moment I told my wife about what happened, about when I confess everything to my wife, I confess it to God and I confess it to my wife, after that, wala na talaga. Yes, I can assure you and I can assure God, wala na talaga ako naging relationship with any other woman again. Because I repented from that, my sin. And that's true repentance. I can't. Actually, I will admit that until today, my, 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 um, my weakness is still women. Lalo na may mga magaganda, mga sexy. It's still my weakness. But you know what? The grace of God has helped me go through it. Na hindi na ako ma, ma, maging engaged ulit sa mga ganong bagay. Of course, I'm a man, so I will appreciate women. Pero, hindi na yung ganun katulad dati. And that's because of the grace of God. Because He's the one helping me now. No, When you say that you're repenting, no, and then you forsake these things, you need a helper to help you out. And that helper is the helper, the Holy Spirit that Jesus will send. He promised us a, save, he promised us a helper. And that helper is the Holy Spirit. And every time I am going through this problem, ito mga weakness ko, if I go through it, what happens is it's just, Lord, help me. Ito na naman. I pray. And you see, the grace of God will allow you to pass these problems, to pass this weakness and this weakness because you, ang maganda pa kasi, when you confess and that you, you know, you acknowledge that your weakness is this. You could guard your heart pag may mga ganong klaseng problema. And then, what will happen is, you will be able to overcome these problems. Kaya nga na sabi ni Jesus, kaya na sabi ni, ni Paul, no? sabi niya, um, um, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Kailangan mo siyang i-resist. Hindi mo siya kailangan, I rebuke you, ganun-ganun. Hindi mo siya kailangan sagupain o makipag, ano ka sa kanya. He is powerful. Yes. But he's not as powerful as the God that we have. So, hindi natin siya kailangan sagupain o ha, ano, hey, no, ah, makikipaglaban tayo sa devil. No. The Bible says that if you resist the devil, that's the time that he will free, flee from you. 
So let's resist him and he will flee from us. No? That's the power of God's salvation. And tandaan mo to. You can repent or you can remorse or you could regret kung ano yung term na gusto mong gamitin dyan. But a repentant heart, ano sabi dito? Finds mercy. If you have a repentant heart, then you will get mercy from God. You know what? What happened to me after I confess all my sins to my wife? Ang gaan ang pakiramdam ko. Although siya naman tong galit na galit sa akin na talagang hindi niya ako mapatawad. But eventually, when she acknowledged them, uh, surrender na siya. She gave it all to God. That's the time that she also had peace in her heart. My friend, Every day, we have choices to make for our heart. We either, if you have a problem with the heart, uh, with your heart, no? Daming nagkakasakit ngayon, heart attack, high blood. We all have choices in our daily lives. We either we eat what's what we want or we eat what we need, no? When we say what we need, is eto yung mga pwede natin kainin pero hindi makakasama sa atin. Kadalasan kasi, the things that I, we want, ilagay na lang natin sa example ko. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, cutting down on rice. Sorry, excuse me. Hindi na ako nagdadalawang rice ngayon. Kagabi, konti na lang din yung rice ko. Kasi, iniiwasan ko, I'm already, ter- um, basta. <laughs> I'm already at the age, no? And um, I've heard a lot of news, batang-bata pa na stroke na, batang-bata pa inatake na sa puso, hindi na sila maka-function well. And I don't want that to happen in me because my son is very young. My youngest is still um, three months old. May, June, July, August. It's going to, ano na, kasi going to third month na. You see, I want to have a long life. But I have choices every day. And I could choose to eat what I want. Gusto ko kumain ng mga taba, kumain ng mga gusto ko, uminom. Or I could choose not to do those things and just do the things that I need. Eat vegetable, drink my medicine, drink drink um, um, vitamins. I'll have a longer life. But if I choose to eat whatever I want, kikain lang kain sige lang. Do you think I will last? Baka ilang ano lang eh. Atakihin na rin. No? See, my friend, that's also the same with our heart. It's either we feed it with repentance for the things that we've done, We feed it with joy, we feed it with happiness, we feed it with the answers that's come from God, we feed it with um, um, with joy, no? or we feed it with heaviness, we feed it with emptiness, we feed it with um, uh, uh, anger, or we feed it with remorse. Do you think your heart would, would last? If we will continue going to that different path, what will happen is, di tayo tatagal punong-puno ng stress ang buhay natin, punong-puno ng problema. And I tell you, one cause of heart attack and high blood, um, yung mga atake sa puso, atake sa high blood, or stroke, is stress. Do you want to have stress? Or you want to have a life that's feel, feel flowing lang. Um, masarap lang. Kanina, yeah, I had some issues, no? kasi aga pa lang, napagalitan ako. Parang sira agad yung araw. What you see? You could either stay in those situations or you could just move forward, do the best of the things that you will have next. You will only find this, you will only have this, not because of your own discipline, but if you have Jesus Christ in your heart. My friend, I tell you, it's easy. All of us knows this. Uh, everyone. Uh, or, wag na natin sabihing everyone because there are still unreached people. No? But there are a lot of people who knows how to be saved. There's a lot of people who knows how to get out this, this this hardship in their hearts. And that is by repenting and accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But the problem is, this because we know that, na parang, parang hangin lang siya, na alam natin na dyan, kahit hindi natin nakikita, nagiging nababaliwala na lang natin siya. Now, my friend, right now, I'm asking you, please, give it some time. Give realization some time right now. Ponder about what's going on in your life. Ponder about your heart. Because you really need Christ. 
not just you. I also need Christ. That's why I accepted Him. That's why I'm changing my life. Exactly the one changing my life right now. You need that, my friend. And all it takes for you is just to, to praise God, ask for forgiveness, humble yourself, accept Him as your Lord and Savior, and know that without Him, you will, your heart will never be complete. So my friend, I don't want to pray that prayer for you. You need to do it yourself. And magugulat ka na lang kapatid. Because slowly you will see the changes. Baka naman ayaw mo dahil mawawala yung mga saya sa buhay mo, mawawala yung mga karaniwan mong ginagawa dahil nga, ay, hindi, ano eh, pag, pag tinanggap ko na si Jesus, iba na, hindi ko na magagawa itong mga gato. Kapatid, don't think about that. Just allow Him to work in your life. And the happiness that you have before will be replaced with a happiness that will last. Hindi ito yung temporary happiness lang. Masaya ka because you want something. Masaya ka because marami kang pera. Those are just temporary. The happiness that you will have is the happiness that comes from above. And that happiness lasts. And you could have that. Sabi nga nila, walang forever. No, there is. The lo- God's love is forever. You just need to accept it. And the happiness that you will feel because of God's love will also be forever. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we pray and we praise and thank you for your words, Lord. Lord, help us to have a repentant heart. Help us to forsake and admit all those sins that we have. And admit, Lord, that we are nothing without you. Lord, kayo lamang po talaga ang paraan para po kami masay. Kayo lamang po ang makatakatanggal ng kabigatan sa aming mga puso. Kakulangan sa aming mga puso. Galit sa aming mga puso. At, at yung pag, pagsisisi sa aming mga sarili. Lord, you can give us joy. You can give us happiness. You can give us all the answers that we need. All we need to do is just to repent. Lord, sa araw na to, we pray that you continually create that relationship in our lives. And let it be you who will be glorified in our life, Lord. Lord, for those who are watch this video, Lord, Paramdam mo sa kanila, Lord, ang iyong pagmamahal. Touch their hearts and let them feel that the pain that they're suffering from right now, you have already overcame it. All they need to do is just to offer or to give you those pain. And they will feel the peace that you offer because you're the Prince of faith. Peace. Father, we thank you for today. We love you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Wow, set up the prayer. Huh? And I hope that you continue to pray, even if um, we need on it. Let's continue to create that relationship with God. Have a great day. Stay safe. Ingat sa biyahe. And God bless you. Bye-bye.